The biggest mistake that stopped me from making my first million? Well, I think there's several. But the first one is just the awareness, the awareness that I, I didn't even want to be a millionaire. I mean, that stopped me the most, right? I didn't even realize the importance of money. I didn't realize, and money is important. I'm not saying money is more important than anything else, because before one of you says, yeah, but love is more important than money, you can't compare the two. Look, what is more important, my right arm or my right leg? Well, that's a stupid comparison, because sometimes I need my right arm and I don't need my right leg. Sometimes I need my right leg and I don't need my right arm. So it's just as important. But I didn't realize money was important at all. I didn't focus on it at all. I focus on having a lot of fun, obviously. I'm not going to tell you what that means, but lots of different things. And just enjoying life until I had enough pain because I was sleeping on my brother's floor and I was over 100,000 pounds in bad debt. And I realized that my thinking had to change because my thinking was just gonna get me more into debt. So I had to change that thinking in order to get me out of debt. Now, why am I telling you all this? Number one is if you wanna make any change, let's say you want more money in the bank account, is awareness that you actually want something and that you need to change yourself. Because most people say, they say, oh, you know, don't, you know, I'm not broken, I don't need to change. Well, <laughs> if you want more of something, Right? If you just do the same thing, you're just going to get more of what you've gotten. You need to check. Now, listen, you've heard this before, right? But honestly, I promise you, you need to have that awareness that normally comes whether you're inspired to make a change or that you have enough knowledge that you know that you can or more likely at some stage, probably in the future when it's too late, you will have enough pain and then you want to change. But you don't want to wait until then. You want to do that now, okay? The second thing was I had no idea that the fastest way to get from where I am now to wherever I wanted to go was to surround myself with the people that are already there. And you've probably heard this as well, but I'm just wondering, I didn't know that I had to, if I wanted to be a millionaire, is go and surround myself with millionaires. I mean, it seems obvious, right? But I honestly, I didn't, I just thought, all right, I just gotta work harder. I didn't know that if I wanna be a millionaire or multi-millionaire, then seek out billionaires. I mean, I didn't ruthlessly like seek out those people. Like really, like look them up. Like where do they go? Where do they frequent? Where do they hang out? Where do they do business? What do they do in their leisure time? What charities are they going? Are, do, are they teaching? Can I listen to them? Do they have books? Now, eventually, I did go on courses. I did go on seminars and workshops and home study courses eventually, but it was very, the, 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 the very slow. Instead of getting straight right to the source of somebody who might have not taken pity on me, but might have thought, ah, oh, this guy, you know, maybe offered me a job or, 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 or maybe to help them or to add more value to them so that I could surround myself with those people. Those were the two biggest mistakes. The awareness, I just didn't have it at all. I just didn't have it. And even now, you know, to get to the next level, you know, I'm a multimillionaire, but how do you get to the next level? And, and that's a different awareness. It's, a, it's honestly, it's, a, it's, it's that awareness that, oh, do I even want to get there? Do I want to get there? Yes, I do. That awareness, and then who are the people that are already there and going after them? And here comes another thing. When you're a little bit younger or you don't have a lot, you have nothing to lose. So you can do all those things. Now, your mindset might say, well, I, I don't have anything. What do I have to offer them? So that's a whole different story. As you get older and you have things, you don't want to lose those. So you stay in your comfort zone. So if now I'm saying, well, I want to get to the next level and I want to surround myself. Can I really be bothered? Do I really need this? Do I really want to spend the time? Don't I want to spend you know, the, the second part of my life more enjoying myself a little bit? So all these other things. So again, it definitely is about the mindset part, the awareness, working on that. Do I want it? Don't I want it? What do I want? How much do I want? Why do I want it? Honestly, most people don't know why. And as the great Jim Rohn says, the bigger your why, the easier the how. Going up to a multi-billionaire because I want something from them is one thing. But if I had a charity, if I had people, orphans, something you know, that really needed this money, I would go up to that multi-billionaire much quicker than I would if I was doing something for myself. So when people say that mindset is 80% of success, it, it sure is, okay? So for me, 
What stopped me the most, the mistakes that I made, is actually that awareness that I even wanted a million. I didn't know that I really had to surround myself with those people. Because you, this is not the first time you've heard that, that you need to spend less time with the friends that are kind of dragging you down, that, that just because you happen to go to school with them, and that, you know, that doesn't mean they're the, the ones that you need to surround yourself with at the moment, right? You've probably heard all of this stuff, but are you really gonna do it? I don't know, man. Most people don't. They hear stuff, they go, oh, yeah, 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 but they don't do something about it because they're so in that comfort zone, which is comfortable, and the other thing isn't. So the question is, do you really want it? And I was in so much pain living on my brother's floor with a hundred thousand pounds worth of debt that I had to. Do you remember the three things? You're either inspired to do it, you either have the knowledge to do it, or you have enough pain. I luckily had pain, and that's when I started moving. So, it's up to you now.